everybody welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today i have a very fun video for you i have birch box and ipsy um i did just like cut the top of this open so it's kind of showing these are both ten dollar subscription services you get them every month in the mail and they've got samples sometimes full-size products and I like makeup. I'm gonna start with Birchbox. I've been seriously considering canceling this one and just moving to the Play by Sephora and the Ipsy. This month might sway me, so let's see how it does because I'm a little iffy on it. This one says, our aim this month is to take a breather and slow way down. Masking while movie marathoning, using a night cream before getting a full night's rest. No matter how you love to unwind, we're bringing you rejuvenating products that make the most of you and your you time. Right off the bat, I can tell you, I don't feel impressed, but let's see. So first up is a Juice Beauty Cleansing Soy Deep Cleanses and Removes Makeup. I have a ton of cleanser samples. I'm actually trying to work through that as a part of my like sample slim down kind of like ongoing project and I will throw this into the mix. I haven't heard anything about this particular one. This is certified organic. I know that they are cruelty free so we'll see how this does. Face cleansers are always cool to try out but it's not my favorite product. I really do prefer color cosmetics and like actual makeup which I know is not the focus of Birchbox which I feel like is like unfair that I don't care for it and I think it's just because it doesn't give me my preferred kind of subscription samples which Ipsy does, Play by Sephora does. If you like skincare, hair care, that kind of stuff, Birchbox is going to be totally up your alley. So next up is the Liftra Contour Cream. Revitalized looking skin and improved elasticity and firmness. This is by Dr. Jart. So I have had a couple of Dr. Jart products before. So it doesn't say if it's for the under eye or just all over the face. Like it doesn't specify, but it just is supposed to lift and tighten. So I will give that one a go. I'm actually getting to the end of my samples of face creams. So that would be good to have. This one is an air repair, super hydrating eye cream for ultra soothing antioxidant eye care formula. Free radical repairing formula helps reduce puffiness, hydrate, Contains antioxidant properties of vitamin C, green tea extract, and cloudberry seed oil. I have no idea what a cloudberry is. I've never heard of air repair, but again, I'm running out of my eye serums and face like lotions, so I'm not mad about that. And then we have a Lumiere de Hiver High Performance Hair Care Restore and Repair Oil. This looks, I thought it was hand sanitizer. I have so many hair oils and hair treatments from these boxes. You use so little at a time that I feel like I'm gonna be using them up forever. I'm sure this might be fine. It could be a really great product and a really great company. It's just not something I need more of right now. And I have one color cosmetics that I see in here. This is from LOC and Tati Love of Color, which I believe is Birchbox Company. So this is a collaboration with Tati, who is Glam Life Guru here on YouTube. This is a vibrant matte lipstick in Wildest Dreams, and it is just a bright red color. I'm not going to swatch this because I'm going to give it away. Red's just not a color that I wear that often. So the ones that I have are sufficient. I don't need more. So I will put this into my bag to give away. Eye cream is $23 full size. It says that this contour cream is $60 full size. The Juice Beauty Cleanser is $22 full size. Hair Restorative Oil is $26 full size. The LOC full size is $8, which these are typically a smaller product. So this might actually be the $8 full size. I don't know. To me, is this worth $10? Maybe because of the Dr. Jart being a $60 sample, you know, or $60 full size. And I am excited about trying the cleanser. Otherwise, it's a bust for me. And it's kind of been that way almost every month. That was my birch box for October. But now let's get into October's Ipsy bag. Let's take a look. This is the bag for the month. And it says Spellbook Magic Potion. Has a little like Ouija board palette, which looks very much like the Lunatic Cosmetics palettes. They got a little ghost with eyes, a little witch, and the little bat. Does say Ipsy and Valfi? I don't know what Valfi is. I thought for a while there that um, Michelle Fawn was designing all of the bags. And the tag, look at the pool. The pool on this is a little ghost. 
Oh my gosh. I officially love this bag. This could be like worth all 10 of the dollars. I love it. So this says it is Ipsy's Black Magic box. It says, hey boo, we've got some tricks and treats up our sleeve. Let's get in and see what the products are. So first things up is a Cosmoholic and this is Cosmoholic lip gloss. Lipstick, liquid lipstick. I don't want to swatch it because I don't think it's a color I'm going to use. It has a mirror on the side. Nowhere on here does it say what the name of this is, like what color it is or what type of product it is, if it's a liquid lipstick, if it's a gloss, what it is. And unfortunately, it's a shade that I don't think I'm going to be wearing, so I don't want to open it and swatch it, and I have no information. So I might have to go onto Ipsy's website and check that out. It's a little tiny Hot Mama blush, guys. So I already have Hot Mama in the full size. I love it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. It's very um, peachy toned orange with like gold shimmer. It is stunning. I love it. And this is actually more like an eyeshadow size, honestly. Like you can get an eyeshadow brush into this, but who's getting a blush brush into that little tiny sample? So again, this is adorable, but I will probably gift this to somebody because I have the full size and I don't need the sample size. It's pretty inconvenient to use in terms of a blush. It's a great name brand product and I'm stoked to be able to give that to somebody, but so far I'm giving away everything in my Ipsy so far. Next up is Sally's Box Aqua Moist Gel Cream. That's all it says. And then the rest is all in Korean. Just a hydrating gel for your face, which I actually like. I had an H2O hydrating gel that I loved for the longest time. I haven't repurchased it in a long time. So I'm excited to give another hydrating gel a chance. And I will put this directly on my bedside table to use. And then next up is an Adise. Adese. Adese. Adise. Who knows, guys? It's an organic infused nail lacquer liquid chrome. It's not tested on animals. It is five free. It is a full size nail polish and holy crap. This is in the shade Grand Central and it is the coolest duochrome. Look at that oil slick kind of look to it. I'm not sure how that would work best. I don't think it's probably going to be opaque enough to use on its own. You're probably going to have to use this over another color. So that might actually be my top coat for a Halloween nail look. And then last up in here is a full-size NYX product. And this is the Gunmetal Eyeliner. So this is a Vivid Brights liquid eyeliner in Gunmetal, which is their silver color. This I'm not going to open. It's actually like fully sticker sealed and I don't do liquid eyeliner and I don't think I'm ever going to use a liquid silver eyeliner. However, somebody else that I know may, so I'll either put this into a giveaway or gift it to somebody. You know, the value is there in the $10 bag, but again, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of only excited about the gel, the hydrating gel and the nail polish. All in all, guys, I love this bag so much but there's actually more products in my birch box this month that I'm excited about and that I'll actually use than in my Ipsy. So I guess birch box is skirting by. I guess they're getting another month, guys, because I actually prefer that over Ipsy, even though the Ipsy bag like way, way, way impressed me this month. Birchbox won this month. I did not see that coming. I guess it lives to see another month and we'll see what November brings. But that's been my October Birchbox and Ipsy unboxing slash unbagging. If you got either one of these subscriptions and you got different products, let me know down below. If you got the same products and you think that I should love them and be way more excited about them than I am, let me know down below too. I don't know that much about most of what I got this month. So be sure to comment down below and I will always comment back. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you can stick around for more videos from me and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.